Are you scared from the move d4? Well, then you are at the right place. Today, I'm going to show you how to defeat the move d4 in just four moves with the super aggressive and one of the most trickiest gambits, the Lazard Gambit. Let's go. White plays d4, and here we go with the move knight f6. And here white plays another very tricky move, knight d2. This is a line for white where he tries to play the move d4. It's also a very prompting line for white. And white actually claims to play e4, c4, f4, and just grabs this. Here there are many moves, but I recommend the super crazy, super awesome Lazard Gambit with the move e and usual re response is to take, but if white doesn't take, let's let's say play something like c3, we can just take, and after take, we can just play d5. Alright, black is having a very solid position. But the main line is not this, main line is to take. And here I recommend the move knight g4, attacking the e5 pawn. And here, if white plays any other move, except saving this, then we can just take. I mean, the best move for white is e4, which situation like we can just take. Yes, white is better, but yeah, I mean, white is better in this position. Competition is almost almost one point advantage. White can play f4, so yeah, I agree. White is better, but it's really tough for white to play this move because he has got a really good advantage in the starting. If white plays something like h4, it's a very bad move. Why? Knight to e3 and the game is over, guys. The game is over. The queen is crapped. What? In just four moves, the queen on d1 is trapped. Oh my god. Do you see the power of the Lazard Gambit? Is this the trap? Yes, this is the trap, but, but the main trap is not this. The main trap is coming. Stay tuned for about that, but... But did you see the super cunning move knight e3? This is just unreal performance for black. F4 is the biggest one. Knight e3 just grabbed the queen. Yes, apparently white can just play this move. Or knight c4. In which situation we can convert the lizard gambit into the England gambit. What? How? Knight c6. We just add pressure. Okay, white defends. Queen e7. Queen d5. Oh. And now, guys, it's the England Gambit. It's the England Gambit. The only difference is that now Queen as like Queen is now on d5. This is and this actually looks like the Denison Gambit, which we play against the Scandinavian from the white pieces. But this is just a mix of Scandinavian uh, Denison and England Gambit, but it's, it is just like England. Like if bishop d2, just take, and after bishop c3, we have this, bishop d4, and white just loses. Computer shows black point of all. I mean, 12 point advantage to black. England gambit is a very aggressive and dangerous just gambit for white. So, England gambit is just not possible. I mean, I have made a detailed video on how to play the England gambit. So, you can watch that video. I mean, we have just converted the Lazard Gambit into the England Gambit. Wow. So if you actually defend this, if you try to defend this pawn, then you are gonna get some trouble. So this means white cannot save this pawn. Yes, apparently the best move is five. F three also loses with the simple movement. But what if white is a very tempting move? H3. It looks really good. And here you would not believe when I check the online database, it shows almost 97% of the games continue with the move knight takes d5. Some of the games go with knight to h6. There are only 10 games in which black played the correct move, and they were all high level games. Guys, there's just one move which completely wins for black. And white has to click the resign button. Can you find that move? 
Pause the video and find the super move of the black. Well, that move I've actually I've covered. You remember I said the move F4, we have to play 93? This time also we are gonna play 92. But, but the pawn is there. Who cares the pawn is there? Who cares? The queen is trapped. Wait, what? Can I just take? No. So the queen H4, it's made in two. It's made in one actually. This and that's good. Unreal. Oh my god. It's just unreal from black. Oh my god. You cannot take, the, you can touch the knight. And the queen is trapped. Guys, do you see the power of the Lazard Gambit? One of the most trickiest gambit. And now I'm sure you can defeat white from the Lazard Gambit. Always remember, when white did like d2, you have to go e5 in this position. So guys, this was the super dangerous, the way to defeat d4 in just 4 moves, the Lazard Gambit. Guys, I hope you liked today's video, and I hope this was a very helpful video for you all. Well, stay tuned for more awesome videos, and guys, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then subscribe right now. For more awesome interesting openings and chess games well i will meet in i will meet you in the next video peace out